kids, I'm Bob the Tomato, and welcome to... Uh, I'm Bob the Tomato, and welcome to... Larry, what are you doing? Come over here. I'll be right there. Wow, what is this thing? It's my new Suvi Action Jeep. I've been wanting it just forever, and now it's finally mine. Wow, you must be pretty happy to get a cool toy like that. Oh, yeah. Well, almost. Almost? Well, there's just one more thing I need to be really happy. What's that? The camper. The what? The Suvi Action Camper. You just hook it up to the trailer hitch on my Action Jeep, and I'll be ready for a weekend of wilderness fun. Oh, so once you get the camper, then you'll be happy? I don't know. There's also the dirt bike. The dirt bike? And the jet ski. Uh... And the action hang glider. Larry, how much stuff do you need to be happy? I don't know. How much stuff is there? <laughs> Maybe this would be a good topic for today's show. Hold that thought, tomato! Huh? Hey, it's the French peas! Hi, Jean-Claude! Hello, Philippe! Hello. Hello, Monsieur Bob. I think we can help. Oh, really? Oui. Tell me, Tomato, where do French peas come from? Ah, uh, France? That's right. And in France, we have a story that I think will answer your question. It's called Madame Blueberry. Madame Blueberry? I think I've seen that one. Doesn't it have Jerry Lewis in it? No. Be quiet and watch the film. Sorry. She's so blue, she's so blue, hoo, hoo, hoo. 
this was the course of a typical morning. The things that Madame Blueberry had did not make her happy, so she would gaze at her mantle of pictures and cry for the things she wanted. She was a very blue berry. Her butlers would try to help her, but this did no good. Now, now, Madame Blueberry, you have a lot to be thankful for. Good friends, a place to live, plenty of food, and you've got us. Like I said, her butlers tried to cheer the poor berry up, but their efforts were fruitless. But anyway, if this sad berry is getting you down, don't give up hope, because this is the day that Madame Blueberry learns a very important lesson. I need tea. Larry, be a dear and bring me some tea. <laughs> Out there. Please stop looking out the window and bring me my tea. Larry? Larry! What do you suppose that is? I don't know. What does it mean? Would you get that, dear? It's big. Madam, there's someone here to see you. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We're neighbors. We moved in down the street. Some say we're the most delightful bunch of fellows you'll ever want to meet. And if you have a moment to spare, kind lady with beauty so... Rare. We'd like to take a minute or two on a topic of interest to you. We represent the Stuff Mart, an enormous land of goodies. Would you mind if we stepped in, please? Well, I... And as associates of the Stuff Mart, it looks like you could use some stuff. Oh, yes, yes. Why, I was just saying that... I pray that you won't take this wrong, my dear, but my initial observation is as follows. The criminal responsible for this decor really should be hanging from the gallows. <laughs> we represent the Stuff Mart. A magic land of retail. Would you care to see what's on sale? <laughs> then as a customer of the Stuff Mart, get ready for some real nice stuff. Stuff Mart. All you need is lots more stuff. So, if I buy more things, that will make me happy? I don't think that's true. Yes. 
Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You really, really ought to. How could I afford not to? Now you've got it. Oh, great. Happiness waits at the stuff mart. All you need is that more Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Just a moment! Wait! Stop talking! Excuse me, I, I have an announcement. Ahem. Because of the high standards we on this show strive to adhere to, and as a result of the disastrous outcome of the previous silly song, management has decided to review compositions from other performers for this segment. Several songs were screened, and we chose one based on the applicant's sense of artistry and all-around propriety. Thank you. So what do you think? I'm saying Silly Songs is cancelled until further notice. Oh, yeah? Well, then how am I supposed to get out of this bear trap? I'm sure you'll figure something out. <laughs> and now it's time for Love Songs with Mr. Lunt, the part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. Said to her I'd like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said isn't this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely When he spotted a billboard for Denny's Bacon and eggs for half price How could he resist such an offer? Burger, be back for you. Oh, he'll be back for you. Oh, whoa. 
thought you were going to sing about growing up in Connecticut. This has been Love Songs with Mr. Lutt. Tune in next time to hear Mr. Lutt say... I grew up in New Jersey. When something caught Madame Blueberry's eye. Mm -hmm. It was a little girl sitting down to her birthday dinner with her family. But they did not have very much money. Instead of a nice tree house, they had to live on the ground. And all they could afford for her birthday dinner was oatmeal and one small piece of apple pie. Surely they must be very sad to have so little. Madame Blueberry thought. But then, the little girl did something that surprised her very much. I thank God for this day, for the sun in the sky, for my mom and my dad, for my piece of apple pie, for our home on the ground, for his love that's all around. That's why I say thanks every day. Because I thank He listens to my prayers That's why I say thanks every day Madame Blueberry was confused The little girl had so little And yet she was happy Madame needed to think about this for a while Ah, uh, madam Your kingdom awaits Maybe later. Right now, it was time to shop. to be. Why, the spectacle was making her woozy. I am feeling woozy. And rightfully so. Well, madam, shall we shop? This was the most glorious moment that Madam Blueberry had ever known. There was nothing she saw she could not have. Right away, she found flatwares just like Monsieur Legoons, and then a sparkling new set of Franklin Mint Spoons. Then she spotted a crockpot like Madame Lecrosses, and some ceramic jars to hold our health sauces. Not to mention a sofa like Edward and Tammy's and an entire collection of terry cloth jammies. It was not long before Madame Blueberry had collected everything she had pictures of. She had already filled up a dozen shopping carts, but she did not stop there. She kept going. Madam, why don't we have these things delivered to your house while you keep shopping? It'll save time. 10% off delivery. Oh, all right. That sounds good. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, look. Air compressors. Then she grabbed a window scraper and a gross of toilet paper. Then a ratchet set and pliers and surround sound amplifiers. Pretty soon, the shopping carts made them feel stretched around the aisles, out the door, and all the way to her house.
Well, that about does it for me. What do you say we head home? Oh, there are whole aisles we haven't even seen yet. No, I'm not leaving until I have everything I need to be happy. Dad, look! It's the train set I saw on TV! The Casey Jr. Deluxe one working lights on real livestock smell! Well, that's what I really want. Can I get one, Dad? Huh? Please? Oh, wow. That sure is a nice one. But it's an awful lot of money. Yeah, but... I don't think we can afford that right now, Junior. But... Is there anything else you'd like? How about a ball? We could get a ball today. What do you think about that? Okay, a ball would be nice. We could play with it in the park later, right? Sure, Junior. Thank you, Dad, for our day, for our trip to the mall, for the time just with me, for my big red bouncy ball, for the fun that we had. I'm so happy you're my dad. That's why I say thanks every day. Because a thankful heart is a happy heart. I'm glad for what I have. That's an easy way to start. For a God who really cares. And he listens to our prayers. That's why I say thanks every day. That's why we say thanks every day. was even more confused. How could this little boy be so happy after not getting what he really wanted? And why didn't she feel happy, even so she was getting everything she wanted? Ah, madam, I think you're going to enjoy our next aisle. Toaster ovens. It was at this moment that Madame Blueberry had a revolutionary thought. I don't need a toaster oven. Well, of course you don't need a toaster oven. I mean, really, who needs any of this stuff? But I think we both know that you want a toaster oven. No, I don't. But at last, I think I know what I do want. Well, what? I want what that little boy with the ball has, and what the little girl with the piece of pie has. What's that? A happy heart. A, a, a what? A happy heart. They both have happy hearts. What aisle are the happy hearts in? I'm afraid we don't have those. Suddenly, it was all becoming clear. Maybe a happy heart does not come from a store. Maybe the kids were right. Maybe a happy heart is a thankful heart. I've been so foolish. For so long, I have had so much. A roof over my head, plenty of food, good friends. But all I wanted was more, more. No more. There's a new Madame Blueberry in town, and she's going to be thankful for what she has.
<laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. We'll take it from here, boys. Your house is okay. Working butlers and her nice new friends, Madame knew everything was going to be just fine. And most important of all, this once very blueberry was truly thankful that day for everything she had and seemed, though it may have been the late afternoon light, not quite so blue. How did that song go again? Let's see. We thank God for this day, for the sun in the sky, for the friends that we have, for our yummy apple pie, for the love that he shares, cause he listens to our prayers. That's why we say thanks every day, because a thankful heart is a happy heart. We're glad for what we have, that's an easy way to start, for the love to our prayers. That's why we say thanks every day. That's why we say thanks every day. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Help me, Bob. I would if I could, man. <laughs> Pull yourselves together! Yes, you have a show to wrap up! Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Where were we? Madam Blueberry. All right, that does it! Cue the music! Unless, of course, you have any objections? No, I don't care. Go ahead. Hit it, boys! And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take a look. Well? Okay, I can do this. Me too. All right, but make it snappy. <laughs> Madam Blueberry learned that being greedy makes you grumpy, but a thankful heart is a happy heart. Like the little kids, right? That's right, Bob. <laughs> Just like the little kids. Let's see if Cordy has a verse for us today. Okay. <laughs> Proverbs 1527a, he who is greedy for gain troubles his own house. Boy, 
Being greedy sure brought trouble to Madam Blueberry's house. It sure did. But even before Madam Blueberry's house got smashed, being greedy made her a very grumpy berry. Oh, is that right? Well, I don't want to be a grumpy berry. So even if I never get the camper or the dirt bike or the jet ski, I'm going to be thankful for what I do have. That's great, Larry. And kids, if you don't want to be grumpy berries, you should try to be thankful for what you have, too. Well, we're out of time for today. Remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye! Broccoli, celery, gotta be.